As a member of the faculty at Harvard University, it's my pleasure also, along with the others, to welcome all of you to this historic occasion. We have come together tonight in a prayer rally, and I want to emphasize the word prayer. We are here together tonight to pray. We pray in different ways. Some of us kneel to pray, some of us stand to pray, some of us pray with our arms up, some pray with our hands folded, but we all pray, and that's why we're here, because there was something very important to pray about tonight. We are aware of the lethal danger to our communities, to our families, and to our commonwealth posed by the predatory gambling billion dollar business that seeks to spread its tentacles through our lovely state. We have heard the promises of the casino people that they will produce jobs, false promises. Every study done of casinos shows they do not produce jobs. They produce a few just at the beginning while they're built. Then they, they actually diminish the jobs in the area. How would you like to be running a small grocery store or a small restaurant when the casino goes up in your neighborhood, driving you out of business, strangling you? No, this is not something that's good for our communities, and we should expose the lie that it produces jobs, especially when there are so many people still in Massachusetts who are desperately looking for work. Let's not let that happen. We are here to pray tonight also because we know uh, that the great spirit to whom we all pray has a special concern and a special love for the people who are most vulnerable, who are neglected, who are marginated, the poorest, the weak, the sick, the children, the orphans, and the recent immigrant trying to find a home here and settle down. These are the people who will be preyed upon by the casinos. That's why we pray for them uh, tonight. They need our help and support. We pray also together tonight because we have been told by the same industry that they will provide a stream of dependable revenue for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. But every study shown indicates that the profit, the revenue stream from casinos is going down in the states that are counting on it. We are being asked to clamber aboard the Titanic after it has hit the hit the iceberg, and I for one would not like to get on that voyage. We are here to pray together tonight because we are concerned that the greedy casinos, that a combine of these greedy casinos will make life difficult and not better. It will contaminate our countryside and our communities and not make them healthier. We are here to pray together tonight because we've heard the casinos promise to us falsely uh, that they will benefit families. They will not. Think of all those families who depend on those little stores or who own those little stores that will be strangled as the casinos move in. We are here to pray together tonight pray together tonight in our various ways because we have this common conviction. We do believe that that great spirit to whom we pray does have a special place, a special concern and love for the most vulnerable and the weakest uh, among us. And we want to be on their side. We want to be on their side. Therefore, as we pray, as we rejoice, as we sing, uh, let us now stand and greet each other. We, you can welcome from here, and I'll turn to two or three people around you and welcome them and say this. Welcome and
remember to vote yes on referendum number three. You'll have a few moments to do that, so pick out somebody who don't vote.